Participation in cactus supplied low-yield coral soil data for comparison with results obtained in Nevada soil from shots of similar yield. COA provided high-yield data for comparison with the low-yield cactus data obtained in similar soil. Successful measurement of neutron flux and spectra were made for a number of ranges. In the structural effect studies on the B-52, sufficient data were collected to substantiate a correlation between measured and analytical responses. This will establish a workable and reliable side-load computation procedure. Yucca, the first of the three high-altitude shots, was prepared and launched from the flight deck of the aircraft carrier USS Boxer. At 1125 hours on 28 April, when the Yucca balloon was released, the USS Boxer was operating about 90 nautical miles northeast of Nan Island, Bikini Atoll, maintaining a deck wind velocity of near zero. Two and one half hours later, 1440 hours, at an approximate altitude of 85,000 feet, Yucca was detonated by radio command signal. Failure of the telemeter command transmitter to activate the canister instruments prior to burst time resulted in almost complete loss of data from the balloon dragline equipment. The aircraft mounted instrumentation provided excellent data. The teak and orange missile shots were fired from Johnston Island, about 720 nautical miles southwest of Honolulu. Each device was sent aloft by an Army Redstone missile. Attached to each missile were four pods, released during the acceleration phase of the redstone. Three of the pods contained telemeter-equipped instrumentation for the nuclear program. The fourth pod, programmed to be closest to the detonation, was utilized primarily for studying the vulnerability of ICBM structural materials The first of the two missile shots, Teak, was launched on 1 August. It was planned to detonate at 250,000 feet, approximately six miles south of Johnston Island. However, due to a programming failure, it burst directly over the island at the desired elevation. Orange was launched at 2330 hours from Johnston Island on 12 August. It was detonated at an altitude of 141,000 feet, approximately 26 miles south of the island. A brief recapitulation of the findings in line with the general objectives sought from Teak, Orange and Yucca shows first that high altitude nuclear detonations are characterized by the rapid development of energy phenomena. Most spectacular was the extent of the fireball growth on Teak, the highest of the three shots, a diameter of 10 miles in 10 milliseconds, accompanied by a striking visual aurora.